Hi Aries, welcome to your 2022 yearly reading. I hope you are doing well. I'm super excited about recording these uh, yearly readings again. You know, I've been doing them every single year. <laughs> and I'm also excited to just talk one-on-one -on -one with each and every zodiac sign because I have been caught up in the element readings in 2021. And um, I'm just excited to do the individual readings for each zodiac sign you guys are my first i'm reading for so you are kind of the prototype for the rest of the zodiacs um, but i'm just gonna go with the flow i have things written down uh, for this year also when it comes to astrology for you guys and certain things that i was just channeling um and of course i'm gonna use the tarot cards i'm gonna start with the tarot because i'm gonna put 12 cards down first each and every card will represent one of the month of this year and of course we'll clarify as well and i'll share some along the way okay i'm trying to make like not make these too long um because we all have a lot to do okay <laughs> let's see all right first card january for my aries here we go that card beautiful beautiful yes okay card number two second card for february the hermit then we have the beautiful strength card for the month of march aries month of april which is your season look at you page of wands ready for the new year to begin here we go may ten of cups looking good looking good okay june june for my aries what's the first card here we go the wow aries the star card for june and then you have the knight of pentacles for july for august for aries wow empress i already want to be an aries this year I'm just saying now <laughs> let's see here we go that is for September we have the five cups of September and then the six of Pentacles for the month of um, sorry I had to I don't know if like some of you need to like get your eyes checked or you are about to get your eyes checked like your vision i think your left eye might be you know more behind than your right eye and that might be the reason why um you have problems with vision or something like that because it's they keep on showing me that left eye well at least my left eye could be more right because i'm mirroring <laughs> anyway it's just a side note quickly i just wanted to let you know like and be I see it now as well as also wearing glasses so you might actually end up getting glasses this year <laughs> or changing and that's just they're just letting you know like um i don't know if you're waiting for like insurance sometimes it takes like two years before you can actually get things again under insurance um so this might be the year for you to really get it checked and you know fix that for yourself because it's important okay but uh <laughs> that was just a side note okay we have the last card beautiful the ace of wands and there was another one that flipped with it which came with a tower that's powerful okay so this is definitely an overall energy that i'm feeling for 2022 okay the old structures that um you've been living by or the belief system you've been um, working from is shifting and changing Right at the beginning of the year, in January, February, we have already like a lot of things coming in and changing. We have, First of all, the major event that I feel is the North Nodes changing on signs on January 18th. So, you know, um, right before Aquarius season. Well, on Aquarius season, yeah, right before. <laughs> um, the nodes change from the so north node was in gemini for a year and a half and now we will move into taurus and the south node was in sag and now we'll move into gemini um sorry gemini uh into scorpio yes <laughs> um and so that means that also the houses that are activated for you guys will shift as well for you that will be the second and the eighth house so the second house will be connected to the north node and the eighth house will connect to your south node um this is actually very powerful because that instantly connects as well to the death and the hermit that is that energy we also have venus retrograde 
still from like the end of December into the end of January and that's your 10th house so it is good to you know take time for yourself in the beginning of the year January uh, also because Mercury goes retrograde take a closer look you know take a deeper look at what is has been really serving you 2021 uh, who type of people have you been feeling very at home with like really connected or people that really have inspired you or motivated you um, or people that might have actually drained you a lot and um, to really take a closer look at who's around you who who are you together like growing with and evolving with because if you sometimes have like a lot of um, misunderstanding or you ha end up in certain discussions with people that doesn't always indicate that you should leave their life or vice versa sometimes it is because you're tr kind of both growing in a similar area and you're kind of sort of testing one another or you have to grow in order to come closer together again so sometimes that is also uh, the case but I feel that in the beginning of the year, you will feel it very strongly already. You feel that this year is different. You feel you want to make certain changes. You're also going to get like inspiration about exp um, brightening your horizons, what I'm hearing, right? So having different kind of expectations uh, for other people and for yourself. Uh, you might actually start uh, a business together with someone you know very well or someone you're getting to know because you are you know connected with each other business related i do really feel it's all about having like a, a small uh, community or something where you really are putting in the work to make something bigger work like the bigger picture basically um that's something that I'm feeling in the beginning of the year. You might actually take some time to yourself. If you have that space, take it because it will give you a lot of clarity. Don't put too many things into motion yet in January because you might feel different at the end of January about what you exactly want to change or what you exactly want to leave behind or begin or start. So give yourself a little bit that kindergarten energy in the beginning of the year in January, of course, if you can't um, wait any longer to make a decision or sign a contract, just read it through very carefully. Tune in, take at least as much time as you have to make a certain decision. But I feel like in the, right in the beginning of February, already starting to get that new vision going. I feel you are definitely are going to a rebirth right at the beginning of the year. I think that was already connected to December as well. But overall, how beautiful is... <laughs> <laughs> the light after like this energy you see you have the death card reaper it's almost like you're going through a whole reaper you're like i want to do things differently some of you might actually choose to from going from an online business like online going through something more tangible something more um, physique like you can touch you can smell you can eat right <laughs> i don't know if you can eat it but you can touch it for example um if you invest in a lot of online things investments and stuff and now you're like you know what i'm going to put that into physical things that hold a certain amount of value right and then value can grow with the tourist energy and especially in your second house you might feel inspired during the entire year to really invest in multiple sources of income and that's very highly um activated for you guys and you will be able to create a lot of different type of income streams this year i i definitely feel that very strongly you might shift career you might feel uh you might want to go through a different side of the brand um where you're working on right if the <laughs> The field you're working is a tree you might pick a different branch of the tree but you you do it because it feels like it's the right thing to do because you want to be most authentic to yourself because you want to do it it's like almost like you can't deny it like you get so excited like i feel that energy like when you start to overcome the self-doubt when you start to overcome to think like i tried this before but it, it didn't really work and now i'm afraid that you know it, it won't work again and like that energy right you have grown you are older and so you are also wiser and you just have learned from many experiences you are coming closer and closer to listening to your intuitive guidance to your inner guidance but what you want not necessarily 
because you think it will look good on you or because you know other people will find it impressive no it's about what you want to do it makes you happy what makes you get out of, out of bed in the morning or at least certain days of the week because you know <laughs> not every day can be a great day but it could be a good day um so i definitely feel that the beginning of the year is first two months is for um rest recuperation recontemplation and just overviewing then in march i feel you really are getting things off the ground because you're thinking your mindset is different you might actually need some space to retreat i'm also hearing like the antique so i don't know if there's something like connected to you guys um certain things might have been passed on generation on generation on generation and you kind of want to break certain cycles when it comes to that or you actually are receiving antiques things that hold energy from they're saying other worlds but i think it's because those people have passed on and are now connected to the other side of you know the other worlds basically um so you might actually receive something that holds a certain type of energy that builds you up so that's something on the sideline that's definitely not for everybody but it's for some of you all right moving forward we have april your season you're going through this whole rebirth moment and i feel by the time your season comes around we also are going and moving forward towards that new eclipse energy season you know the eclipse season in may we do have we might have an eclipse um on the 30th of April, but for some of us it will be on the 1st of May because it's like late, late, so that's why. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, so that eclipse will happen um, during the new moon in Taurus and it will be in your second house. So that's why I'm seeing that you are starting to feel that energy coming to you. That is a moment where you're like, oh. I could do this for a second or a third or a fourth stream of income. I'm going to work towards starting that in the summer or doing some side things because it's summer season, you know, because it's spring season. And that's why I can actually make a business like this work. Thinking outside the box, but also inside the box of the seasons, right? Not necessarily wanting to start something because it can um, give you income for the entire year but it might be a small window for a certain season where you can really make some extra streams of income or where you can invest and where you can get a payout in a couple months you're gonna think in a different way all right sorry um so you might actually put things in a certain box yet it's so out of the box box thinking because of the fact that you're capable of um categorizing things in the right way your mind is very open, very creative, very um, looking and thinking in solutions instead of problems. And you, you're making that work. And I feel that that energy that comes in is really coming from your soul. Your soul is like really happy to be a part of the guidance, the part of the clarity, right? And so I feel that you're coming closer and closer to things that matter to you. In, on a deeper souls level and that shows so much growth because the beginning of the year will connect you to it that's not always comfortable you see change can be extremely messy we always think like healing oh it's so beautiful and it's like you know spiritual awakening and yes it has these moments of extreme insane bliss but then you also have the other side right because it's about bringing si both sides together but that's beautiful at the same time sometimes messy is beautiful and so you will bring it closer together. It will connect you in onto yeah a different part of yourself. You're gonna feel really really good in by the time like um, the spring is here. You know, in the middle of spring, you feel the ten of cups. You might actually take like a week off, a couple of weeks off in 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 springtime. May is definitely a good one for that to set certain things into motion and to also um, receive. All right, this year because you have the eight house activation as well um you might find yourself in positions where you just have a season where you you are just on the receiving end not necessarily like your own <clears throat> sorry 
your own income stream but most sometimes it's because your partner's in income just hypes up because that person your partner might have like a project and it like brings in a lot of finances but also takes her or him away from the household so you cannot really put too much energy into your income streams but you focus on for example the kids or taking care of the household or the cat or the dog or whatever <laughs> but the person is busy and out there and also at the same time benefiting you in a beautiful way because the eight house will teach us um, what to let go of yes death and transformation but it's also about shared resources and shared money and finances and all of that so that might come to the table more often in, in this year and a half we'll just focus on 2022 but i see that could be more and more um yeah more and more uh, an understanding you might invest together into something um, if you're not partnered up, this could also be like an inheritance, like, you know, um, you might have been waiting on quite a, a long sum of money and just hasn't shown up yet. Then I feel like springtime and summertime that might actually start to roll in for you guys. Um, on May the 16th as well, that's why I'm saying like May is really that eclipse season energy. We'll have that um, full moon in Scorpio and that's a lunar eclipse uh, and that's in your 8th house. So like I said, that might actually take something out and bring something in real quick. <laughs> like you know a certain reality and then all of a sudden, no, 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 that's not how we're going to do it <laughs> anymore. So be open, be flexible. That's why it is important, a stage in the beginning, like I said, like it's very important, Aries, because it will connect you to the right um, guidance within. And you will start to see things from a different perspective. You start to believe in yourself in a whole, in a different level, and that will help you smooth through this energy for the rest of the year. Very powerful. I love that. Um, Yes, overall, when it comes to like love, like I said, I feel things are, if you are sort of dating and you would like to make it, take a couple of next steps, you know, you will in 2022. Um, if you, in the beginning of the year, feel more connected to each other than before, like 2021, for example, um, it definitely has a high chance of surviving and definitely deepening as well with that page of pentacles sorry I, you can't see that i see the page of pentacles energy in the beginning of the year it's all about looking at stripping things away really getting to the core okay for example if you're cleaning out your closet you would really like a new new type of look or anything you always have like some basic things you keep right like uh, i don't know you name it <laughs> like your socks or something or whatever okay let's get to the core of the things we want to keep or we want to continue doing or something that has been inspiring to you or helping you out. Uh, whether it's people or whether it's a way of thinking, a way of doing things as well. And that build from there on forward. That energy here is so powerful. The Empress, like Leo season, will be a season where you feel like you have arrived. Like you start to receive certain things that you've been waiting on for quite some time. Whether it's clarity, whether it's a payout, whether it's things in motion, whether it's pregnancy. If there's something that you um, are really working towards. I feel that summertime would definitely bring in some of that. The Empress definitely represents, of course, independence, growth, financial abundance, but also overall abundance. It represents pregnancy, it can represent the nurturer, the mother archetype, but definitely a queen, even maybe even above a queen, you know, the ruling queen. I'm just saying, person who is not chasing, you know where to put your energy and you know where to just sit, wait and let it come to you. That's what I'm feeling with the Empress coming up in the way that it does. With the Five of Cups September, you might expect something to come in, in in September, but we're dealing with Mercury retrograde in September again. Um, that will uh, happen on September 10th. And then October, oh, sorry, October, um, the 2nd of October, so right at the beginning, energy starts to flow again. So don't pressure things too much. Take on this energy that you will feel in August from um, knowing when to put your energy somewhere and knowing when things will come to you in divine timing. 
So this I will I will get a clarification for the five of cups for you. Seven of cups, yes. You've invested many things and you feel like like the results aren't really there just yet. Or you feel that you have options but nothing really you know. But I feel that the next month, the month after that, you start to understand why. And then you're like, oh, wait, something better was coming its way. It's like, why is nothing working? I'm investing in here. Like, for example, you have like these multiple things standing out, multiple streams of income. And all of it is just like soaked in. And it's like no matter how hard you try, it just won't start in, in that particular moment. But it's because something better is coming. And so remember that if you feel a little bit down and, you know, Virgo energy is getting to you, <laughs> whether it's other people um, or it's it's just you and the way you look at things, because Virgo season can sometimes do that to Aries, right? Um, but I feel that October will bring in the blessings again. That energy stream is going to come in. I, I think that it's just very, it's very powerful. Um, let me see. By the end of October, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Scorpio. So that's again your eighth house. That's why I'm saying just wait and see. October will be the month of things moving forward again. Things moving into, going into motion. And then on November 8th, we have a full moon in Taurus. And that is the lunar eclipse, um, which is also very powerful because it will be a second house. Once again, things moving forward. You with the eight. Um, ten of Wands. What is advice this year? Don't overspend in moments when things are really, really flowing. Because they will. They will flow and then it will hold back a little bit and then it will start flowing again. That's why. Keep your inner peace, but just keep it a little bit on the side. Understanding that it goes with ebbs and flows this year. Because something new is building. And, that, and it goes like that. It's natural, but it's also putting you here. In the Ace of Wands by the end of the year. This year is going to be laying the foundation. And the next year you are starting to build and build and build and build. And it's just going to be this empire. It's really, really good. Okay, I get such great energy for this year for you guys. Okay. Here we go. The Wheel of Fortune exactly with the Queen of Wands. Yes. Yes, Aries. Look, Queen of Wands... That's you. Look at that. You start with the Page of Wands, you're ending in the Queen of Wands, and you have that Wheel of Fortune turning into your favor. Your luck turns around many, many times. Okay, so so work on keeping the faith this year, especially when the moments where things are just seem impossible to be resolved, they will magically just be resolved because, like I said, that eight house energy. And it's um, second house energy. It just does. But only the only way to delay those things to come in for you is to put too much pressure on yourself or to feel like look down on yourself or on like blocking it out basically by not having that level of faith, by not understanding that it comes in ebbs and flows, by not creating that peace of mind, by just having a little bit of, for example, financial resources separate. So you know that if it goes down, it's going to come up, but at least you don't have to stress in that period. So you know what you're building, your future focused. Ch living from check to check is really not the thing anymore. I know we're still really, a lot of people are still com committed to that because it's just the only way to make, for make it work. But I feel um, that these next five years, that will drastically change on a grand scale. So you guys are the first sign. So set the thing in motion, you know. Be the prototype, Aries. Show us how it's done. All right, I'm going to get a, um, a Keeper of the Light Oracle card for you guys for this year. What's, what's the card that connects to 2022 for Aries? I cannot believe I'm already at, like, you know. 25 minutes already it's crazy i really was hoping to keep these short <laughs> but how to put like a year into uh you know 30 minutes right all right a card for aries please a card for aries 
these. All right, here we go. Higher learning, yes. Beautiful. Okay, higher learning. You have learned from experience. Exactly, that's what we already spoke about beginning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required for further progress. Wow, that's so powerful. That really connects to what we spoke about for January and February. That um, more inner study is now required for further progress. Tune in. Study yourself. Journal about it. Take a deeper look. What is holding you back? What is making you feel good about yourself? What? Who is helping you? Who is holding you back? Who could be potential for a new friendship or for a new business partnership? Who would you trust on that level? Do you trust yourself? Really looking deeper because, and Mel said, um, Mel said, Tisiak? Tisiak, I'm sorry. That's a very hard word to pronounce. No shade to you. You look beautiful and divine, but higher learning is important. Do you see this crystal grid as well? That sort of mandala energy. That's also something I really feel connected. So if you see patterns again here, of course with that chakra as well, it's connected to it. It's like aligning your chakras. I know some of you want to start like a Reiki business or something deeper than that, you know, with aligning things, making pieces fit with one another. Um, but also things that you would not, not normally put together, you're putting it together and it works. Like for example, when you put two different soda drinks together, you're like, that's not going to work and it works. And everybody's looking at you, what are you doing? I know it looks weird, but it works. Want to taste it? You know, like I said, making new prototypes, putting things together, even if it's with outfits as well. Set the trend, maybe not in fashion, but in other things. If that's not connected to you guys, I do feel that you will have intercount intercounters encounters. Sorry, encounters. <laughs> okay, scattered energy. You have encounters this year where you have a certain level of eye contact with people and they come because they, they needed to come and they needed to align something within you. The power of eye contact is insane. Like the, the, the real eye contact. And I feel it will be light brown eyes, but almost like a light inside of them. So I don't know if that's connected to you right now, but just if you have these intense eye contact with people you, you just meet randomly on the street, it's not about, oh, let's make babies together. No. It's about having just an encounter. Sometimes it can just be someone at like um, the cash out or something, you know, something like that. Um, it's almost like earth angels will show up this year for you guys. And they don't know that they provide that energy to you. You don't even know that, that, that they did that. But like I said, the power of eye contact, it will align something for you guys. Because it's very destined. Everything that will happen is so destined this year. So in alignment. <sighs> You see my whole energy? I'm like super hyped and excited. <laughs> I can hardly keep up with the words. Anything that wants to leave, let it leave. Don't try to force things to stay or force things to fit. If it doesn't fit and you tried it and you approach it from a peaceful angle as well, and it's not no longer meant to stay with you because it's like I said, you're going through the transformation and certain things just can come to the other side. One more card for my Aries and then I'm really checking out. Hope. Yes, exactly that. Exactly that. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Right? So know, like I said, things are very destined. Meaning that if you are at a low point, you have a lot of energetic support. Even if it feels like you don't, you really do. And that's why they, they, they make certain events happen and take place for you in certain ways this year. So they can show you that support. 
while you're going through these transformations. And yes, that will come with challenging moments and times and days or mornings, but it will also come with that other aspect that's like high energy, feeling connected, feeling motivated, seeing the future and can feel the sun on you. Wow. Okay. Aries, um, if you would like a personal reading for the year of 2022, I do offer those. I will leave it in the description box down here below. Um, for now, just have a lovely December. If you're watching this in December, happy holiday season to you guys. And if you're watching this in November, happy, happy new year. <laughs> you made it. I will upload January readings, I think on January 1st, so I can say happy new year and then it actually being happy new year because it feels so weird to say before it actually is, you know, <laughs> but it's just me. All right. I'll see you on the other side. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.